Hello everyone, my name is Alexandra and welcome to Creative 404. In today's video, we are going to open up this vintage Sesame Street Tickle Me Elmo. I'm really excited. I found this on the Facebook Marketplace and I had to have it. It was like a very big impulse buy about a couple of months ago. And I'm finally getting to opening this package. I actually bought a Sesame Street to go with this. Not Sesame Street, a Toys R Us to go with the Sesame Street. And I couldn't help myself, I opened up the Toys R Us one, but I did save the Sesame Street one for you guys to open up on camera. I love this little handle, it's very fuzzy, I think it's adorable. It's almost a shame to open it up. Oh my goodness, I spent more money than what they had on here. I spent, the, I think I spent the $20 on it and it was for $10, oh well. <laughs> it's, it's a cute toy. And I was really surprised because the Tickle Me Elmo actually laughs. Let's see if we can't get him to laugh. There we go. He laughs. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. All right, let's open this up. I hate opening up the vintage toys because it always feels like bad, but I don't buy these toys to be in the box. I buy these toys because I want to play with them and I want to do stuff with them. So let's open up this baby. Ooh, we got a little thing that popped out. Does this open? It looks like it opens. The elastic has lost its elasticity. elasticity. So it's just very easy to open. Ta-da! Ooh, this is cute. Little Elmo. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I'm trying to get the residue, uh, what is it called? Rubber band stuff off. Eee. It's cute. Ah! Alright. Look at the little side Elmo. not a real box here this is just that but we have little strings we have the vintage twist ties and all this other stuff ah I miss how packages used to be packed Well, I don't want this tag. Let's see if it comes off. Oh, he laughs. I bought this just for this little guy. I don't remember if I actually paid $20. I think I might have paid $15. I don't remember. I don't want the tag on there. I want him to look like he's just a little toy for my doll. Wow, oh, he's so cute. He's a Tickle Me Elmo. It'll make really great if he buzzed too, like the real Tickle Me Elmo, but that's fine. Nice boots. Oh my god, I love these boots. Ah! Let's see, there's a sock. Oh, they're fake socks. How dare you? Look at that, fake socks. Oh well. Let's get Barbie out. I do hate how they used to sew the hair into the packaging. Like, that was just retarded. Or, well, silly. Sorry about that. I actually have a learning disability, so I guess I can get away. Okay. She's not half bad. Her face is actually kind of cute. I would totally move her for the maid to move. She has the clicky legs. But I would totally change her body to a made-to-move body and keep the head. I think the head is actually really adorable. And she has a little bit of string in her hair to hold the glasses. She's actually really adorable. I love the freckles. 
She also has like hazel eyes and the earrings are back in fashion so there's nothing wrong with that. She totally needs a hair. Her hair feels gross but she's an old doll so that's fine. I still think her outfit is super cute. Let's see. This is like a little shrug. That ain't bad. That's kind of cute. Oh my god, she had bracelets on under here. Oh my god, these are tiny bracelets. She has some good articulation for a doll from this generation. She, she has elbow articulation. She has the clicky knees. She doesn't have the wrist or the ankles, so there's no ankle articulation. But she's pretty... I'm sad about the, the... I'm a little sad about the fake Elmo socks. But I love the Elmo shirt. I love the Elmo belt. Her little sparkly belt. I think that's super cute. I'm totally going to use this outfit. I am probably going to wash her. Well, I actually am going to wash her hair. And I wonder if she'll fit the articulation doll. Let's see what... I love this doll's face. Let's see if it actually matches the... Um, made to move doll that I want to change her with. So I have a couple here. We have this girl who has a darker skin and this girl who's a lighter skin. You see her skin's just, she's like right in between these two girls. And I kind of think, yeah, I kind of think the darker skin would look a lot better. Yeah, because a face is usually slightly lighter than the skin. So if I take her face off and I replace this girl, because I don't really like her face. Her cheekbones kind of make her lips kind of look weird. But she has a cute face. She's adorable. I love her hair. Oh my god, and her dirty, brown, her dirty blonde is just too cute. Anyway, I'm going to change her face. I'll be back. Alright, I am back. I decided to forgo the fake socks because they kind of just make me a little sad and I put her on the Barbie this one I had an extra one of the light skinned Barbie and this is the medium skinned Barbie I, well this is actually medium light because there's a lighter version the Asian one is actually lighter than her and then there is the medium or the tan skin and then we have the dark skinned girl. So I would say we have white, natural, medium, or white, beige, tan, and dark. Um, but I decided to put the, the natural skin, Barbie skin tone on her um, instead of the, the tan one because I was looking at it in a different light and it looked like it was just a little too dark for her. So she's really cute. I took her pixie tail out. And gave her more of a mature look because she has a mature face and she looks a little ridiculous with the pixie pixie tails so I gave her that and she is looking really cute I love the new body on her she is super flexible now and she has all the articulation and I love this face I think it's beautiful I love the little um, wispy little long uh, what are they called long bangs long bangs are in again so it's really nice to see that on her she has her cute little elmo which is like huge compared to her but at least it it laughs so she has her cute elmo um wasn't too much of a fan of the shrug either um but that's fine I adore this doll. I hope you liked it too. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye. Oh, I forgot about this. Bye-bye.